accountability. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Ethical Empire. Its mission, to seek out ethical life forms for a new trustworthy civilization. To boldly believe that truth can take us where no human has gone before. Captain's Law, Stardate 90210. Lieutenant O'Hara has identified an historic radio signal from a non-orbiting red planet that is on a trajectory from the Milky Way galaxy, where all human life began on a planet called Earth. I've decided to take a small team to investigate after our unmanned shuttle lost contact with the Enterprise. Energize. Everybody remember where we parked. Lieutenant Uhura, what's the coordinates again for that shuttle? We can't see it from our location. Captain, the ship shows the shuttle just 100 yards from your location. Uh, negative on that. <laughs> Odd. Are you still picking up those ancient audio signals? Yes, Captain. It is in English and sounds like hundreds of news broadcasts from the planet Earth. Based on the events described, they sound like news stories from the early 3rd millennium A.D., around 2010. I'm picking up English words like Blagojevich, Bernie Madoff, Kenneth Lay, Martha Stewart, R. Allen Sanford, John Edwards. Captain, what is a mortgage loan crisis? What are you wearing? <laughs> Excuse me? Captain, you're breaking up. I'll try to boost the signal. You all be good while we're down here. No more parties like last time. Spock, what are you doing? Why don't you kiss it already? Fascinating. This planet is composed of memorialite, which has the unique quality of retaining, then radiating, human emotions, fears, even data. Jim, I believe this planet is a warning sent into space by your kind many years ago to keep others from making the same mistakes that were made on Earth. What do you mean like extinguishing Mark Cuban when we had the chance? Thousands of warnings about the threat of unethical business practices. Arrogant leaders who are only interested in their own success. A floating ark of malfeasance, if you will, broadcasting the reason the Earth civilization collapsed in the year 3400 AD. What was it, Spock? Like a plague? A virus? Was Al Gore right after all? Human greed and lack of intellectual honesty was their undoing. This is planet Enron. Spock, are you trying to maneuver us into another one of your monologues about the weakness of humans? Since you are limited in your ability to understand without pictures or crayons, <laughs> let me transfer what I'm receiving from the planet to your walnut-sized brain. This may make you wet yourself a little. Bring it. Very funny. Do it right this time. The fatal flaw at Enron was pride, arrogance, intolerance. I love my you guys stole from those poor grandmothers. <laughs> Did you convert stock worth sixty-six million dollars? Uh, I don't know. I netted approximately a hundred million dollars argue about my compensation and if I step on somebody's throat on the way that doubles it well I'll stomp on the guy's throat they sought out every loophole they could in order to profit the rules weren't quite clear they could bury debt they could bury losses an industry that was very reliable for a hundred years was all of a sudden turned into a casino 
Those guys could just yank the California economy on its leash whenever they wanted to, and they did it, and they did it, and they did it. He just steals money from California to the tune of a million bucks or two a day. Can we rephrase that? Could I predict uh, phony energy prices as a result of the deregulation? Yes. I would like to know if you are on crack. This is the shredded evidence that came out of Enron. Everyone was on the bandwagon. It has evolved to the corporate crime of the century. Oh, dang it, Spock, slow down, that hurts. Be gentle, you pointy-eared space elf. Hey, Bones, how many fingers am I holding up? For Commander Blagojevich, conflicts of interest were part of everyday policy. There was no accountability for campaign promises. There was no respect for the environment. There was only more control. Bad apples. More domination. More money. Some people call me a bad apple. Well, I may be bruised, but I still taste sweet. Some people call me a bad apple, but I may be the sweetest apple on the tree. These are not just a bunch of bad apples. This is just a few bad apples. It's not just a few bad apples. We've got to get rid of the bad apples. You can start with Tyco. Bad apples. We know all about WorldCom. Bad apples. Xerox Corporation. Bad apples. Arthur Anderson. Bad apples. Enron, obviously. Bad apples. Kmart Corporation. The fruit cart is getting uh, a little more full. I don't think it's just a few apples, unfortunately. I think this is the worst crisis of confidence in uh, business. I saw what you were thinking. You think I'm like those other arrogant leaders, too? If the girdle fits, Jim. Bones, tell him that I'm not like those other men at Enron, Worldcom, or Commander Blagojevich. Make him see that my emotional, bet the farm, sometimes overly flirtatious leadership style is effective. I'm a doctor, Jim, not a f***ing politician. I can't just say things and make it be that way. Isn't there something you can do to keep this from happening on the Enterprise? Greed and dishonesty can destroy what civilizations take centuries to create. We should remind our crew once a year about the value of business and legal ethics and why accountability, trustworthiness, and teamwork are more valuable than individuals all looking to advance their own goals. That's called synergy, you pointy-eared arachnid. Captain, look out! Yeah! That was fabulous! Do it again. And then I want you to listen to Lady Gaga on my iPod. She's from my planet, you know. Stay back, Jim. She could be greed personified. Tribble. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Trouble with Tribbles is, I'll always need more. <laughs> Mr. Scott, please beam us up before I get a mic. Mm -hmm.